Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss this numerical that is find the sum of n terms of the series 1, 8, 27, 64 dot dot up to n terms and we have to perform the addition of the first n terms of this series okay in MATLAB. So the algorithm is same whatever uh, programming language you are following either C or C++, Java or Python or MATLAB. Just syntax will be different. Okay. So, see, just step one is try to understand the pattern. As I have already told you, there is no general rule to understand the pattern. But if you observe carefully, see, 1, then 8, then 27, then 64, like that it is going. See, 1 power, one, 1 power 3 is 1, 2 power 3 is 8, 3 power 3 is 27, 4 power 3 is 64. Like that, that means this is nothing but printing the uh, number position. If number position is i, then i cube it is printing, okay. Or if the nth element, the, uh, in the number will be n cube, like that. From the sequence itself, we can clearly understand. After seeing 8 and 27 itself, we should click in our mind that okay, this is something cube related because 3 cube is 27, 3 into 3 9, 9 into 3 27, and 8 is 2 into 2 is 4 into 2 is 8. Okay, so in this way you can approach, but there is no general rule. But there are some standard uh, procedures to check with heat and trial method like uh, 2n plus 1, 2n minus 1, 3n plus 1, 3n minus 1, n square plus 1, n square minus 1, like that. Sometimes the sequence may be modified as n plus 1 by 2. So by adjusting that, you can you may get this like that, okay? So let us try to write a MATLAB code for this. So we'll go step by step. So first is input, input. So first we are printing the sequence, enter the number. That we will add. Okay, first input we have taken. Now for i equal to 1 colon x, what will happen? t is some other variable. It is nothing but i q. Okay. T should pull the value and end. Okay. Now to print the sequence properly, as I told you, you first define one empty matrix, then before ending the loop, y equal to y comma t, or you can give y space t. Okay. So in capital Y, our sequence will be stored. Now control A, evaluate selection, enter the number. Suppose let me give. 4. Okay, now you just write capital Y and enter. See what you are getting. 1 power 1 is 1, 2 power, uh, sorry, 1 power 3 is 1, one uh, 2 power 3 is 8, 3 power 3 is 27, 4 power 3 is 64, 4 into 4 is 16, 16 into 4 is 64. Like that, okay. Simple 3 line code. Now, we, but the question is, see, not to print. They have not asked us asked us to print the sequence and then they have asked to add all the n terms, first n terms of the sequence. So what do you do? Very easy. Just let me copy this code. Okay, here itself let me modify. So suppose let me give another variable w initialize as 0. So here w will be equal to w plus what? t because in t our value is stored, right? So this is what about our code. You can remove this line because now we don't want to print. Control A, evaluate selection. Now enter the number. Let me give as 4 and enter the. Uh, so what will happen? That the, in W variable, the uh, addition of first 4 elements will be stored. So let us check. Write W and click enter. See what we are getting as 100. So is it correct? Let me show you using calculator or in MATLAB also you can write. So first term is 1, second term is 8 because 2 power 3 is 8, third term is 3 power 3 is 27 and next term is 4 power 3, 4 into 4 16, 16 into 4 64, right, equal to 100. Okay, so 1 plus 8 plus 27 plus 64 is nothing but 100 which we are getting from the MATLAB also. So this, this code, this simple Pipeline code is basically printing the, uh, the uh, addition of the first n terms of the sequence uh, 1, then 8, then 27, then 64, total up to n terms. It is adding and giving the result in W variable. Okay, 
so these codes these type of programs are very important to clear the basic in matlab so i hope you have understood this for more videos related to electronics and communication engineering multi sim simulation matlab programming you can check my channel and don't forget to press the like share comment and subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you